The yen drops to 151 yen per dollar on October 22nd. The yen hasn't been this weak in 32 years. To put the yen crash into perspective, the yen lost 30% of its value against the dollar in 2022. The yen has been negatively impacted because prices of resources are increasing and interest rates around the globe are increasing. Higher interest rates in America makes the US dollar an attractive investment opportunity when compared to Japan, which will give low returns due to a low interest rate. A weak yen means that prices of imported goods will increase, which will hurt the regular consumer. Japan also reaches a trade deficit of 11 million yen, which is the highest half-year deficit since 1979. There are two things the Japanese government can do to put a stop to a weakening yen. Number one, the government can intervene and purchase yen. For example, on September 22, the government bought roughly 25 billion USD worth of yen, which increased the exchange rate from 145 yen to 140 yen. Obviously, it's not a long-term solution, but it can send a message to investors that Japan will intervene when necessary. Just recently, on October 22nd, the yen jumped from 151 yen to 147 yen. Same strategy, the government bought more yen. The other option, which is probably more realistic, is to change the governor of the BOJ. Mr. Kuroda will be ending his term in spring 2023, so the government can announce their intention to change the governor towards the end of this year. This could also send a message to investors. Both of these really don't sound like a great option. Japan could also try to benefit from a weak yen by encouraging exports and tourism, but that binds the country to rely on unpredictable factors. Given that the US Federal Reserve is adamant about defeating inflation by increasing US interest rates, it is likely that the yen may sooner or later drop to 160 yen. Of course, the easiest way to stop the yen from falling is to have the Bank of Japan to increase interest rates as they have the power to do so. So why isn't this happening? Check out this video to see the BOJ's perspective on the yen crash.